man, is that just gorgeous. Look at that. Sun's not up yet. Tree sunrise, dawn. It is beautiful. Hopefully we can catch some big fish this morning. I got my mossy oak jacket on. If you are trying to get some mossy oak apparel, you can use my promo code. It's linked down below. It's been a pretty cool fall so far, which is nice. And these nice boat rides are comfortable, not sweating. But I'm gonna, I have nothing but Nomad Artificials and Z-Man tied up. Hopefully we can get some big fish today. About three big rods. Waiting for that sun just to come up just a little bit more. So hopefully that's what we can get on. And some Jack Carval, maybe King Mackerel, who knows? But y'all, I'm happy that you can join me. The Steve with Bama Saltwater. Let's get a big fish on everyone. Got some birds diving. That's a good sign. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Heck yeah. You never want to run right through it. You always want to go around. Usually up current. You find a big school. Oh yeah, they're redfish. Woo, big redfish. Big redfish. Let's get them on the top water. Oh, Chug Norris. Big reds. Watch this. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Got him. Woo! <laughs> That's a huge school of redfish, everyone. Oh, man. Sorry, I'm just so excited. <laughs> this is sweet, baby. Big school of red. Oh, there's jacks in there, too. <laughs> Yo, there is so many redfish. It is insane. Look at all of them. Goodness. This is epic. I mean, you could walk on them out here uh, incredible oh yeah there he is that's a big one big beautiful golden red fish come here you come here <laughs> giant goldfish that's what that is Head first in the net. Oh, so big. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Now that is a big full red. Yo, they're still all around us. So we're gonna get this beautiful, beautiful fish back. Look at the tail on it. <laughs> that is incredible. Okay. Come on, big girl. That's a big red. That's a huge redfish. Come on, big girl. Oh, she gone. <laughs> Whoa, that was incredible. Straight up amazing. Okay, we gotta find that school again. There they are. Right there. Oh, there's some there's some right below me too. Watch this. Oh yeah, look at this, right by the boat. Haven't even had to move. Do that again. Oh, don't, oh, got it. Oh, come on, come on. Gotcha. I only have one hook on there. So, there it is. Woohoo! Incredible. Look at them all fired up. Wow. There's redfish everywhere. This one I can bring in pretty good. Wow. That's why they're so fun. And that's why I love this time of year. I only have one hook on there, the back hook. Woo, get in the net. This one's not as big as the first one, but it's still a stud. Second red of the day, back to back cast. Let's get her back and keep on fishing. 
I mean, they're right below the boat. Amazing. Oh, she was ready. There you go. Wow. Woo, that'll wear you out <laughs> in a good way. Y'all, there are so many redfish out here. That is just insane. So all I've done is just run the beach looking for the birds and I found this school. The bay's rough with this north wind, but the beach is flat. And that's the nice thing about it. If you can get through the bay and get out to the beach, you can run it pretty easy. Need to find those fish again. They haven't gone far. That second one, I didn't even put the boat in gear. I just cast right back out after I released the first one. And I just have one hook on there for ease of use. These already come with single hooks, but middle one's off and cut that one on the end. Because these are all catch and release fish. You're allowed one oversized in Alabama. You know, let them grow, let them breed, so we can continue having more of those big reds like that. But you are allowed one if you want to keep one or if one doesn't make it. They're not bad to eat. Check my leader. It's good. I'm just going to stay right here for now because I think I see them right there. I think. They haven't gone far. Oh, I found the redfish again. Oh, look at all of them. Throw this diamond jig up in there. Shouldn't take long to get eaten. Nope, we're already hooked up. Yep, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. Come on. This is awesome, man. <laughs> All bull redfish. Sweet. My third one I've hooked up to. A Nomad Ridgeback long cast. Come here, you. See a nice redfish. I don't see any jacks mixed in. It looks just like it's all red. It's a real good one. Look at you. Beautiful red. There we go. Good old boga grips. Oh, there's another one below it. <laughs> Look at that sucker right there. Beautiful fish. Come on, play over. I'm gonna get that jig out of its mouth and let it go. There we go. <laughs> It's gone. I accidentally let it float away out of my hand. But y'all, these things are crashing all behind the boat right now. Look at those red fish. Watch this. You want my jig? <laughs> oh, man. Going to eat it below the boat? Something will. Come on. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> one-handed right below the boat jigging. Oh, that was sweet. <laughs> okay, let me put the camera down and fight them. That was pretty cool. I mean, they're all around me right now. Cool. Look at the red fish. <laughs> oh, no, my jig came out. Oh, go and grab it again. <laughs> I was too focused on... uh trying to capture that school so this is what i changed to it's just an 80 gram diamond jig pretty much headed to uh navarre florida so i'm about a 40 mile run from Orange beach pass in the gulf it's slick it's nice we're doing about 46 miles an hour should be pretty easy y'all i just came across a giant school of fish so I'm gonna take my Nomad Chug Norris popper and cast it out and see what they are. Wow, that is a lot of fish. I think that's red fish. Oh, it is red. It is a bunch of red. Wow. Oh, <laughs> come on. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Big reds. Oh, it came off. 
right by the boat. Come on. Come on. Oh, that one got it. Come on. Where'd that hook go? That tail hook came off. What? Split ring. Got him that time. Oh, yeah. We got him. <laughs> On the good old Ridgeback long cast jig. Big old bull red. Big bull red. What a big school of fish. Come on. And there's nobody over here. That is insane. I mean, there's a crap on the boat. Whoa, what was that? What just happened? I think a shark just tried to eat my ring. Oh, I think it did. I think a shark just ate my redfish. What the? You gotta be kidding me, dude. There it went. Cut the line. You gotta be kidding me, bro. That was a big shark, too. Well, I thought I was gonna have a fish on deck. My, I guess my split ring wasn't seated all the way on this one, so the hook came out. I just moved that hook that was in the middle to the end. And then my other lure, I caught a bull red, got ate by a big shark, and then that shark cut me off. So now I don't see him anymore. I'm gonna keep on pushing. At least we know they're here. at the tarpon. So cool. Okay, we're sitting 50 feet of water just right off the beach. I'll be trolling a Mad Scat up on top, and then this is a Nomad DTX Minnow 125. It dives down about 16 feet. Now, I'm just running mono leader with it right now. This is 50 pound mono, a couple feet of leader. 50 pound braid, pin slammer 4 6500, and a Nomad offshore spin rod. This is a 7 foot 8, and it's rated all the way up to 100 pound braid. It's a popping rod, but it works great for trolling too. So we're going to pick up to around four to five knots get these lures out there and just troll the beach that's it looking for birds bait balls anything else and then here's my nomad mad scad 115 sinking in the blue color with a little bit of silver it's a little bit smaller setup it's still an offshore spin rod by nomad but this is seven foot four it's a great setup for casting and then white trolling as well. So we're going to put that one way back because that's going to stay just under the surface. Now we have one around the top and then we have that other lure covering down below. I'm going to put that one way back. Loosen that drag and we're good to go. It's just a great way to cover some water and, and find fish if you don't see any activity, especially in the middle of the day. Hopefully we'll get into something. I just hooked something on my deep diver I think a bait fish or Spanish I'm not fighting that hard it's right on top too yeah that's a Spanish some sort of bait come here you just skimming on top all right oh good old Spanish Mac yep it's not a bad one we're gonna let him go though. I didn't bring any pliers. I forgot my pliers. <laughs> oh god. Let you go. Cause... There you go, buddy. And he swam off. Sweet. So we'll get that one back out again. Okay, that one's out again. Set you in the wrong horn. Okay. I just hooked up to something. There we go. 
I don't know what though. It doesn't feel too big. Maybe a Spanish. Maybe. That's what it feels like. Kind of head shaking. We'll see. Uh, now it has some decent weight to it. Swimming towards me now. What is it, a king? I just lost something really nice a little bit ago. That just stripped drag off. Oh, that's a king. Nice king, too. Real nice king. Coming on this side. Mm. All up in that line. There we go. Man. That's a nice king. <laughs> oh, that would be a miracle if I land this thing though. Cause it's all up in my other line. Come here, buddy. Woo. There you go. On 50 pound mono leader too. Sweet. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Let's figure out this tangle mess. <laughs> Calm yourself, man. Check out what it ate. The blue and silver Mad Scad 115. Not a bad king right there. A little schooly size. It'll go good on ice. And uh, I was running 50 pound mono leader, so I'm glad he got the hooks where he did so it didn't cut me off. I love catching these things. I just missed something real big a little bit earlier. Don't know what. And then this guy hit a little bit after. So we'll throw him on ice and keep on fishing. Y'all, these 115 size Nomad Mad Scads literally catch everything <laughs> i mean i use the heck out of them they've caught me so many kings this year it's insane usually i like the bleeding mullet color but i ran out lost it to a, i don't remember what i lost it to i think an amberjack so i had this blue and silver they all work good something blue and silver black and silver gold all those are good colors but i'm going to orient myself back the way i was going and get it back out again make up long cast and then i'm gonna let it out another like 30 yards 40 yards i like it really far back there you go and that's ready in the rod holder again there you go man oh i just hooked up again Ooh, got it feels like a pretty good fish I know we're staring right into the sun, so I'm not going to be able to see nothing. But at least I don't have another uh, line out. <laughs> what are you going to be? Big Spanish? Another king? I don't know. Might be a Spanish. We'll find out together though. Is it a Spanish? No, it's a king. It's a schooly king. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, going all the way on the other side of the boat. It's not a bad little king. I'm gonna let him go though, if I can get those hooks out because <clears throat> there he goes <clears throat> come here come here because <clears throat> he's kind of a little little small little fella there he went jetted off just fine sweet <laughs> oh you gotta love that type of fishing right there hooks are good split rings are good 50 pound mono i don't normally troll with mono like that but i was looking for some blackfin tuna, sailfish, or whatever. 
and then these hard lures as long as you keep the tension as long as you keep the line tight they'll hit it towards the tail end well, i caught that keeper king caught another keeper king i turned back caught a spanish mackerel and then hooked something i don't know what it was it was a pig but while i still have i'll still have some daylight left it takes me about an hour to uh get back to orange beach pass i want to go back while i still have some daylight to see if i can find the bull red schools again so but that's what I'm gonna do. Pretty fun though. Dang, it's windy today. Woo. But yeah, we are home. I did that video and uh, it's Wednesday, almost November. And we've had some great trips here. And I know, I think the channel's almost at 200,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. It might already be by the time I post this video. I don't know. I haven't looked. But y'all, I appreciate you for watching all these cool videos. Just a dude from South Alabama that just likes to fish and share these experiences with you. All of our partners are linked down below. Along with a lot of the gear I use, I try to put that in the video description down below as well so you can go back and look without having to pause or rewind or anything. And there's some promo codes down there too. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.